Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here back with another video and today we're taking a look at some of the brand new 2023 colorways we got here for new bike models. Um, also in this video, I'm gonna be talking about uh, what I think might be coming um, and what this kind of these color waves uh, foreshadow in the future. But before I do that, I just kind of want to show you guys, this is the Remco uh, 2023 Tarmac SL7. This was a limited edition color. I posted about this on my Instagram. There's only a hundred of these made. It looks very cool. I think they only have a 49 left in size and stock. Uh, if you do buy this, this is just a pre-order. So it will ship out in November, but this is the exact same colorway that they he wrote into on the, to win the Vuelta on uh, the final stage. So it looks very, I like the red, the red color just classic. It looks like classic specialized. I like the black in there, um, but it is a matte color wave. And what I find very interesting is that they included a zero degree or a zero uh, degree setback seat post. So this is a straight up and down. This is the same seat post that he was riding uh, in the Tour de Volta. So I think that's pretty cool. They kind of matched that for his geometry, which I find is a very, very comfortable uh, seat post as well. If you guys have not done that for your tarmac, maybe talk with your local fitters, see if that's something for you. Um, but I feel like it gives you a little bit more power over the cranks. Anyways, let me do some digging. So someone reached out to me in my Instagram and said, hey, I found these bikes on there. I started looking around and uh, we found out that if we go to China's um, sanction, we go to China's area for specialized, they have on here listed some new colorways of the bike. So we're gonna go to road, we're gonna go to tarmac. <laughs> Boom. Where does it go? Where does it go? Right here. So these are the only frames they have listed on their website. So this is the 2023 S-Works Tarmac SL7 frame set. Nothing changed to the bike itself, it looks like. Everything is exactly the same. Um, this paint job does look really badass. I'll show you both paint jobs, but this is just kind of showing you guys what they have in here. They only have two colors. That color is wild. That color is wild. Looks like floral. Looks like a like a floral vase. They do come with a new seat post, so it looks like the for 2023 they're not going to be giving you the seat post for the 11 speed DI2. This seat post looks like it's only compatible for the um, 12 speed and SRAM ETAP because there's no junction port on the back of that seat post. You do still get the stem. It looks everything normal in terms of stem wise. Nothing changed to the bike at all. All you get is a color on here, and this is a badass color. This is a gloss black. Looks like a marble fade in there. It looks, it doesn't look just like a gloss black. It looks kind of different. Looks like they have like a maybe a raw. As it looks like a raw gloss black, but I love the metallic or the uh, the chrome decals. I've always been a fan of chrome. You guys know that. So, what does this mean for you guys? Because uh, the tarmac has been out for a while. The tarmac SL7. It's been out for a little bit, as we all know. Specialized after a couple years, they like to maybe change up things, do different renditions of it, release new models, everything like that. Um, it seems like for this year, for 2023, it seems like they're sticking with the Tarmac SL7. It doesn't seem to be any kind of changes there. Uh, it seems weird they only released two colors, though, if that makes sense to me. I think that they're going to have some still of the 2022 colors kind of carry over and fill in some of those skews. Um, but it, it only has these two colors. Usually when they do a new bite or they, they release a new lineup, they'll have five to six or seven colors. But it seems they only have those two colors on there right now. Uh, which is weird. And then here's a 2022 color, which I only have this one frame. So um, we'll see what have to, happens there. But as for right now, this is only confirmed on China's website. This is on specialized.com. So this is for sale already. Uh, I don't know when our Western side or the United States will be seeing new colors because these have not dropped yet on my side. I haven't seen them even me being a dealer. But if I was to take a guess, I would assume that these colors would come over to there. Who knows when? We'll figure that out. Also doing some digging. I found in the LA, they had some new colors. No, not here. Okay, this one was changed. Okay, we got to change region one more time. And the Pacific Australia, it looks like they had two colors of the turbo. No, I don't want turbo. Hold on, one second. Okay, there you go. So in Australia, we went there, went to bikes. 
I had to reload it. Uh, LA Sprint, they have new colors here too, which look pretty wild as well. So you have this kind of color. Gloss Ink Technique, Lagoon Blue, Purple Orchid, Orange Tint, Midnight Shadow. Holy shit, that's a long color. Uh, they have this color, which is Classic Satin Silver Dust, Gloss Transparent Decals. That's a badass color. I maybe like to see that color black, but that's a really cool color. Very nude, very plain. Maybe you want to stay under the radar. You don't want people to know what kind of bike you have. That's a cool looking bike. And then they have this one, which is following the schemes of the Tarmac SL7 I just showed you. This is the Satin Metallic Dark Navy, Rusted Red Granite Gloss Silver Dust. That's crazy. That's a cool looking bike. But that's cool that they're doing the new, uh, they have new colors for lace print. So this color is, I've, I've only seen this for Australia. This didn't show up on China's. Um, I haven't seen this on the Western side either on the United States website, but if it has to do, if, if this is going the same way that 2022 was, the colors released first here and then they trickled over to America as well. So we'll see. And I don't think that they, back in the day, they used to do a European color for over there. Australian got a different color here. Um, but I think now with just the pandemic and everything still to happen and they're still trying to catch up. I don't think they're doing these, these optionally they have different colors here. I think they're just trying to make everything one sole unit, push it out and get to people. So, um, but yeah, so like I said, for the Tarmax, it looks to seem like we're going to have the SL7, uh, this whole year again, doesn't seem like there's going to be change to it. They didn't change anything to the bike itself. So we're going to still have the Tarmac SL7 there. Um, and we just have to keep our eyes peeled. Anything that we see come up here in the future, if I see any other frames, any other bikes, uh, if I hear any news, you guys know, you guys will hear here first. And I will let you guys know as soon as possible. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of those colors. I think that's a pretty bad color. The, the, um, that floral one, I don't know. That one's gonna be crazy. That color is just, it's a lot going on. I'm sure I can make a sick build with it. I'm sure we could do like a crazy, crazy build, maybe some colorful wheels, maybe some crazy bar tape. Who knows? But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of that color. Is it too much? It's a lot. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.